welcome back to my channel. I know what you're thinking, it's Saturday and I usually give you a DIY on Saturday, but I'm not feeling good. Um, if you, <clears throat> um, I love that you guys care. It's not even, if you're if you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Jerry Ann and I try to always post DIY on Saturday. Sometimes, you know, most a lot of times throughout the week too, but always like on Saturday to have a DIY. Except Super Saver Saturday, that was special. <laughs> but, um, but welcome if you're new. Um, I, for those of you who've been around, and for those of you new who don't know, I am a type two diabetic and I have arthritis all over, but um, that's not what's bothering me today. I suffer from um, allergies. I'm allergic, I'm an, what, I was diagnosed when I was young as an allergic nose, so I'm a little allergic to everything, but my big triggers are um, pollen in the spring and leaf mold in the autumn. And um, I used to call it my biannual sinus infection because that's pretty much guaranteed to get sinusitis twice a year. <laughs> but for the last few years, um, when I didn't have medical insurance, I um, was learning to combat it um, before it became infection. So um, I do a combination of the two allergy medicines that I take all the time. I take a, a knockoff Zyrtec. I take uh, the actual nasal court, um, and I do them both once a day. And um, when it's this time, I take Sudafedrin hydrochloride. I take 60 uh, milligrams three or four times a day. It depends on how 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 quickly the sinuses want to get clogged back up again. Uh, but I try to like take it as little as possible. And then I take a Benadryl at night to um, basically to help me not let the let not let the mucus build and settle in my sinuses, which is what causes the sinus infection for me. So I'm just told you all that to tell you that that is why I'm not feeling good. I feel like a little hungover, um, which those medications can do for you. So, um, but what I would like to make today a special day. I have received um, family friend mail from two of my sisters and my brother from another mother, Stephen. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Guess what? I got a lot of stuff. But my sisters, my sister and sister-in-law, hi Jane and Kathy, they sent me a beautiful friend mail box and it's all stuffed to the nines. I know you've been dressed to the nine and stuffed to the gills, and I combine them. I'm fun that way. Oh. Fun or funny? <gasps> Rude. Yep. You don't call them. Yes, I am. Do you need me to call them? I would love that. You? I would love that. Come around and see if I can help you out. I've, I've cut the tape, but it's. Super I don't weird. have a grip anymore, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're on. I don't know. I don't know it either. It will have to just be temporarily off camera. Oh, I see what they did. They, they glued it, then taped it. Right. The glue is from the prior mailbox. It's just that I, I don't have any grip today. Some days the arthritis has got like no grip, you know, oh. when you can't make a fist. Your box goes flying apart. That's okay. Oh boy, what's this? Hey, since it's coming from family, is there objectionable to return it? Oop. Allergies. Allergies. She sent us a bottle. Of she sent me a bottle of Allertech, but, but, he just made me a blanket. Her. My sister, my 
Sister Jane is a very, a very talented person. She taught me what art was. She taught me about drawing and painting and she's taught me so much. And she made a blanket for me in my colors of red, black, and gray. And it's very cool. It's a stitch she was trying to teach me over the phone. It's hard to pick up with the different colors, but it's like a basket weave. So, do you see me putting my finger under here? Sorry. So, it's this beautiful basket weave pattern, and thank you. I just thought she bought me something stupid. <laughs> Okay, she's gonna come visit. They're coming to visit, so I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you, Janie. Thank you, Gabby. I love it. If it wasn't 90 degrees, I'd wear it right now. <laughs> Did she know we were planning on moving to someplace colder? <laughs> and I just saw her two years, two and a half years ago. She's like the last one of my brothers and sisters that I've seen. <laughs> but, okay. Thank you, Janie. Thank you, Kathy. I love my blanket. And Jimmy said thank you for the allergy medicine. He won't sneeze anymore. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Jane doesn't usually leave comments, but I'll make her answer all the questions. Hi, everybody. I know that I'm. Um, this looks familiar, but I was just finished opening Steven's package. I went to go edit it, and I realized that I lost the footage from <laughs> my sister Alicia's family mail. Um, so a really little background of what you missed on there was she sent me a box and um, how the story goes is I follow um, While You Were Cleaning on Instagram. It's BBB Forever, I think. Um, she is awesome, but when Michael's grab bag boxes came out, she posted that they were out, so get there. So I don't have a Michael's by me. So I immediately screen grabbed it and texted it to my three sisters who all live by Michaels. <laughs> and my sister Alicia, who lives like the closest to a Michaels. She lives about a minute down the road, about a minute down the road from where I lived. And I lived about five minutes away from Michaels. So she lives about four minutes away from Michaels. Um, it's really like she lives um, almost, almost the last block at the edge of Island Park and Michaels is in the first block at the edge of Oceanside um, and they're the towns that are just split by a little channel of water so they're very very close um, but anyway so she ran to Michaels and what she found out then there was that um, grab bag boxes are not available in all markets that's what the manager there told her so I, um, I'm gonna guess they're not available on Long Island or in Nassau County because then she went up later that day and went up to the one in uh, Westbury and they didn't have any either and they told her the same thing. So while she was in Oceanside, she looked around, she said they're having a big autumn sale and then she found something and she texted to me and I said, what is that? How much is it? Where? Da, 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 da. So here's what it is. It is a giant garland of cotton. On the original video, I went ahead and I counted that there are 70 cotton blossoms on this thing. And I don't know how long it is. I feel like it's six foot. Um, it was originally $13. She got it for $15. It was 50% off autumn stuff. But I wanted to tell you that it is like really... Like they're not the, like the Dollar Tree's cotton has like plastic pods. This has like the real pods. 
I don't know if it's real cotton that's just stuck on there or if it's like really manufactured really well. Um, but it's, it, I feel like it's about six foot. It is um, loops on both ends. So here's the loop on this end. Um, and I am in my dining room now because it's one of the, um, you'll see a video coming up about tablescapes and um, it, I'm gonna use it for one of my tablescapes, but I um, wanted to share that with you. The other thing she gave me, which now has a ton of stuff in it, so forgive me for that, was she sent me this giant orange and white Buffalo Check shopping bag. Actually, it's probably light orange. Um, it's Berkeley and Jensen. I think it's from Costco. I think that's where Berkeley and Jensen. Oh no, BJ's. Berkeley and Jensen is BJ's because that's what it stands for. If you guys don't know BJ's, BJ's is like Costco. It's like a wholesale um, grocery store. And they're there on Long Island. I don't know if there are other places in the United States, but they're there throughout New York. It's actually the first wholesale outlet my parents, first and only really my parents ever went to when they dropped her off at um, volleyball camp. She was in high school and they went there and he was, my dad was talking about it like ever since. So, um, so she sent me that and the garland. So thank you, Alicia. Um, Hopefully, Chris gave her the money. I sent her money to send me this. But she pre pretty much used all the money that I sent her just to ship it to me. I told her, I was like, it doesn't end up being cheaper when you get it on 50% clearance. But then I have to spend the extra $15 to send it to me. So she's so sweet, though. Um, so anyway, that's it. And now we're going to get to Steven's stuff um, because that's the order to which it came. So <laughs> bye. If you're new to my channel, Stephen has sent me an album before, but um, when I was a teenager, Stephen came and lived with us and lived with me for a few years. And so to me, he's like a brother, but I just wanted to give you the background. And Stephen, he sent me so much more. So <laughs> um, we've been texting back and forth. Um, he works at Walmart in upstate New York and um, he basically texts me things that he thinks I'll love and actually it started a while back he started texting me on my Walmart hauls and tell me how much cheaper the soda is there and stuff but um, he texted me um, with some things that he thought I would love and there's a lot more in this box than the one thing he said he was sending me so let's get into it um oh my gosh everything is so me right um have you guys seen these on anybody's channels or instagrams these are 88 cent towels they say blessed they have sort of 12 pumpkins on them they're black and white check on the bottom 100 percent cotton everything about this towel it's like walmart called me up personally and said hey jer we're gonna design a towel for autumn what do you got and i'll be like yeah that's about right and it's printed on both sides. Well, it's printed, <laughs> the inside of the towel is white, but it's printed like if you hung it over a door, it could go either way is what I'm saying. Um, and it's just absolutely beautiful. And he sent me two, so I have a set. Uh, sorry, I'm giddy. So this is the other one that came out at the same time. It's sort of their uh, celebrate, their autumn celebration line. I'm sorry, celebrate line. Um, and these again, 100% cotton. This one says gather. It is all Buffalo check. This right here does not have to be for autumn. Not that the pumpkins necessarily have to be for autumn because they are fruits and vegetables and you do keep fruits and vegetables in your kitchen. Sorry. Um, but gather obviously can be any time of the year. They just have gather on one side and solid, uh, gingham on the other. I, I call this gingham because it's small, but you can call it buffalo check, whatever. It's fine um, on the other side. And of course, black and white. So if you are new to my channel, hi again. But most of my house is painted gray walls of different shades of gray. And my color schemes are black, white, and red in almost all the rooms, um, except the guest room and the office. The office and guest room were painted when we moved in. Actually, 
The only room we painted when we moved in besides mom's side was our bedroom. Everything else was painted and we made our bedroom a light gray. That's because we're boring. No, it's not because it's a neutral and I like it. Anyway, two pot holders. They come individual for 88 cents, but I will tell you, I've used these on hot pans and for me, they're twice as thick and twice as insulated as the ones you get from Dollar Tree that are two for a dollar. But if you get the ones from Dollar Tree that are two for a dollar, you can always sew or fabric glue them together and make a double wide, um, double thick uh, pot holder. But I absolutely love these. And these also say gather. So this can be any time of the year. Oh. And then of course, two oven mitts that match the blessed towels with the twall and the gingham and their solid black on the back. Um, I love this. I wonder if, I wonder if like places like this ever think about making one left handed and one right handed and selling them together for $2. Wouldn't you guys buy like a set if they were like, because when you take, when you take a pot out you need two and you're pretty much gonna dirty the front of that one. Just saying. So if you're watching people who create stuff, just my tip to you. <laughs> so this I knew I was getting. This is what he originally texted me for. This is the tablecloth and I have to find out how much it is. I know that these are all gifts, but they were, I will, I will find to see if he can link some, oh, what am I trying to say? Maybe if I can find it on the website, I'll link in the description box down below. But he said, what size tablecloth do you need? And the dining room, the formal dining room has two leaves that we can put in there. So I said 120 inches and he found it. So it's 60 by 120 inches. It is absolutely beautiful. And it's a really, this is Buffalo check because it's nice and wide and um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's black and white. This scale of this check is bigger than the two that I found at Dollar General. The first one that I found at Dollar General that wasn't a seasonal item is a much much smaller one um, and the one that I found that was the Christmas one at Dollar General is still smaller than this but not quite as much so I love it thanks Steven I love it I love it love it love it tissue paper tissue paper tissue paper <gasps> okay oh oh even better look at that this is a gray burlap let me see, let me get past this and see if it's giving any details. Uh, wire edged ribbon from Offray. Knit wired by Offray. And it says floral ribbon. It's called saddle gray, two and a half inches. I just don't know how long it is. Oh, here. Oh, that's really tiny. Hold on. My handy dandy. Thank you, Tammy by 12 feet so it's four yards and he got it for a dollar on clearance that's amazing it was originally $4.97 I love presents I love burlap I love gray but I love clearance <laughs> you guys have to know that about me right <sighs> so these how how the how part of this started was when Walmart grocery pickup first came to here, to Rolla, I was doing some hauls and I was doing some shopping. And one of the shoppings that I did included a bunch of 97 cent craft items uh, that you could add to your grocery shopping. And one of them that was in there were these magnetic strips. These are adhesive magnetic strips by the brand uh, Go Create and they literally were in my shopping cart for months, just like they were unavailable, unavailable. And they finally gave me a substitution. And then he said, I'm gonna go talk to the manager of the craft department and find out if she can order them. And he ended up getting me five, is that right, five? Yeah, five packs of these magnetic strips. I'm gonna be set for a while, girl. They are, it contains 18 strips. Each strip is a half, a half inch by four inches. So I'm guessing that this, and then they go half inch this way, which is really awesome. So they're great for crafting and they're 97 cents a pack. 
Um, but just check your store for availability and price. <sighs> sound like a commercial. Prices may, oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, prices may vary. So I don't know if you remember, but um, Steven was the one who sent me a big box with my sister Alicia for Christmas, I mean for my birthday, and he had sent me the blueberry coffee that I've been so like missing. Um, and I thought that this might be blueberry coffee when I stuck my hand in it, but it's not. It's actually Folgers, and there is Folgers, let me get my glass, Simply Gourmet, it looks like Simply Gourmet, natural vanilla, flavored ground coffee with other natural flavors. And this one is Folgers Simply Gourmet Natural Caramel. Ooh, I wonder if they have any nutritional value on them. No, they're good till 20. This one's August 2020. This one's May 2020. Um, but I thought maybe they had. That's so cool. I don't think they're sweetened. I think they're just flavored. So I get to try some new coffees. Thanks, Weaven. More tissue paper. Okay, was not expecting this. It is a table runner in the Buffalo Jack. And it's the black and white, of course, and it's got fringed edges, but this is like woven. Do you see that? Like like a weaver would weave it on a loom woven. Um, it's 100% cotton. I'm madly in love. And this is by Mainstay. So this isn't in their seasonal, um, with their seasonal decor. This is their regular houseware brand. Um, as opposed to this, which is their, see their Autumn Celebrate? Does it say Autumn Celebrate? Oh, or it's a way to celebrate, but it's got the Autumn Leaf on it. And this right here is from the Harvest line, um, but this is not. So look out your Walmart, if you find them. More, another one? It's another, oh, it's not another one. It is. What am I gonna do? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. But this one feels like doubly thick. Oh no, it is two. One, two, three, four, five. He has sent me six woven placemats. Oh my gosh, this just just like the table runner except shorter. Um, you get they're 13 by 18. I meant to tell you. I'm sorry. This one is. 13 by 72 and these ones are 13 by 18 let me hold up the sticker for you so you can find that I should do that with the table on it too shouldn't I um, oh my god these are so unexpected oh my goodness so since they came from the everyday line do I get to use them every day I think so okay so there's an envelope like a pair of bubble envelope. With tissue paper. What? Oh my word. Oh my word. I'm so sorry, it took my breath away a little bit. Um, they say grateful and they're in this beautiful like hand script and they're from Better Homes and Garden. But do you see how they're like almost a bowl and do you see how they're like oval shaped? And they kind of like come up on, the, you can see they're really good how they're like higher on the sides. These are beautiful. They look like handmade ceramics. I know they're not because there's a sticker on the back. So I wonder if there's two of the same. One has a, oh, no, guess what this one says. I should have guessed. So we have grateful and blessed and it's the exact same shape and size. Oh my gosh. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. We've been, thank you. I never saw these. I almost never get to go to Walmart anymore. Um, it's kind of sad, but, oh my goodness, they're 
stunning. Uh, they're stunning. And they're from Better Homes and Gardens. Um, so if you need to look them up. They're absolutely beautiful. You are just the sweetest thing ever. So if you noticed, I, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, on um, I shared it on Instagram. We've been doing this for almost three years. So December 1st will be the beginning of our third year. Seven, 16 to 17, 17 to 18, 18, 19. So the beginning of our fourth year. So the end of our third year will be completed um, at the end of November. And we just had our first video that hit a hundred thousand views which seems so weird when i post so many videos every day but um he's really so supportive but he's basically um, messages me he's been watching um the enamelware video has really just gone like like rockets but we were watching like he was watching um the wooden crate, the country crate, and then he was watching um, the lantern, and then the enamel where it came out of nowhere and just started getting views and views and views. And then when I looked, I was able to, I'm able, well, you're able to organize too, the videos listed by like most viewed. And when I did that, I noticed that the simple autumn wreath, mesh wreath, the one that um, I was inspired by Amber at um, Southern Girl Can with the truck in the mail, just like rockets just came out of nowhere it's a last year's video so i just posted um, i mean i posted it last year and people just started watching it this year and um that one just like went right past all the rest of them and it was the first video to have a hundred thousand views so i shared it with him when i noticed it when there was like a hundred more people had to watch it and he was on vacation and he's like, here I am sitting at the beach and all I can think about is this video. So he's so sweet, but he, when he, when it made it, he shot a little video on, he shared it, I shared it on my Instagram. If you're not uh, following me on Instagram, go ahead and I'll leave a link in the description box down below. I don't share tons of um, my work stuff on there, but um, like, like the channel stuff, I do do some on the channel. I do, um, when you guys share stuff with me on Instagram, I share it um, with everybody, but um, you can catch up what's going on with me and Jim and everything on there too. But I went ahead and I shared that and that was so much fun. Um, he's just been so supportive, he's so sweet. He's so sweet. I miss my family. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so that's everything from Stephen and Alicia and Jane and hopefully someday I'll be able to work out how I can share with you what my sister Julie did. My sister Julie ran all over uh, her town to try to find Michael's grab bags and she ended up finding them and then hauling them and then we lost all of the audio. I have all the video and I'm thinking how can I voice over it we'll never get that you know we were you know that rapport that sisters have that banter um, back but I can definitely share with you at least what she got or what I got what she got for me um, so but thank you everybody for joining me if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below I'll do my best to try to find these items um, and link them in the description box um, obviously you can't get the bay the blanket from my sister sorry um, but, um, I'll see if I can also find the cotton, um, from Michael. So if you <sighs> would like to share with friends and family, anybody, you know, who might be interested in seeing all I got from Walmart, from Michael's, and then, um, what, how much I'm loved by my family. I would really appreciate that. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.